Okay, so this is just a really quick tutorial on how to make a modeled set of curtains. So first things first, I want to go to the front view. And I'm going to use the Create Curve CV Curve tool. And what I'm going to do is place some points to sort of create the shape of one of the curtains. If you right click on it, you can adjust these control verts to get it looking a little closer to what you're wanting it to. Next thing I do is create another curve. And hit enter. And then when you select both of those, you can go to surfaces and loft. If I go to my options, you can see I've changed my settings to uh, polygons and I've changed the type to quads and the count to, uh, or the tessellation method to count, excuse me. The count, I'm gonna, let's try 200 and see what that gives us. I'm gonna hit apply. And that actually gives us a, a decent looking curtain. If you wanted more or less, you can change this number here, undo what you did and then reapply. The only thing I need to do is uh, reverse the faces. If I go into the perspective view, and hover over the curve, you may need to select it. Right click on it and go to control vertex. Uh, you can actually adjust the shape of, of the mesh right now still, um, but I actually like the way it's shaped. So I'm just going to um, select every other edge. And I'm just going to either pull those forward or push them back a little bit, kind of give the illusion of um, a little bit of a rippling happening. Let's actually pull those forward. Okay. And next up, I want to make the, um, the little top part. So I'm going to go to my top view. And I'm going to do another curve, another CV curve tool. And I'm going to hold down X to snap to grid. And place a few points. And then hit Enter. Snap that one down. You select it as an object. Um, I'm going to just do modify center pivot so that it's easier to move. Move it up a little bit and over, kind of close to where I want it to be. And if you want to scale it, you can. And then I'm going to duplicate it, hold down Control and D, and then move that down sort of where you want it. Select those two, do a loft. Um, on this one, you may want to reduce the amount of polygons. So let's back up just a bit. I'm going to go to Surfaces, Options, and we'll change that to 100 and hit Apply. Now, I probably want to have um, another side to this curtain. So if I go to Mesh and Mirror, it will it'll actually merge those two. So you may not want that. I change that merge threshold to zero so it doesn't merge them. They're, they're still two objects. And for this one, you can either scale it 
or you can scale it down to fit. Let's actually use the um, let's use the curves to scale it. I'm gonna turn wireframe on shaded on. And again, if you want to adjust the shape of it, you can still use that curve until until you actually delete the history on it. So you can use that to, to scale it out a little bit, whatever you want to do. Then when you get it somewhere where you like, uh, I'm going to do uh, another mirror. And again, I'm going to turn that uh, merge threshold down to zero, unless you, you want it to merge. And for these edges here, I'll probably pull those back just so they're not sticking out. And if this doesn't quite fit your window, what you can do is group it and scale it. But you may want to delete the history on it first. So yeah, let's um, edit, delete by type, history, and we can get rid of those curves because they're no longer going to affect the shape. And now if I group those or select the group and scale them, I'll have a curtain. <laughs>